Okay, let's take a look at the second part of the farrucas. Sorry about that interruption. What, uh, we came out of the tremolo and went, we had this section that I'm not entirely sure about. I tend to always want to use my pinky here, uh, and it's just a good habit so that whenever you have to get an F here on a D string or a C here on a fifth string, you're ready with the third finger, right? Maybe it's a D sharp. have this octaves, right? Three on the D string, one on the E string. E's, right? Two is on the D string, grabbing an E, and of course E string open. And just use PA for that. On the fifth string. D string. Right, so again, hammer on from fifth, uh, fifth string, uh, first position all right? Two to three, open D, then two D, three, and then two, hammer to three, and then back to two, open A. And then you do it again. And then you have a scale B string, G string. Just three. Most scales are played in rest stroke in flamenco, right? So I would just do breathe before you do your scale and play it on an exhale. It's a lot easier, right? And then you actually have I, from what I seem to remember, tap. So so first is with D, right? Then A minor. Not sure of how many times that is in the score, and then move upstairs to E7 and upstroke. Right, so all of that. Up down, up down, up down, pika ta kata. with pinky then D minor I think it is something like that um, so I tend to change the rhythm a little bit and my 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 teacher Juan Serrano who was just a, a teacher of mine for five years wrote this piece um, probably would want you to play it straight and in tempo which makes it a beautiful piece it's also fun to just change the rhythm a little bit and uh he was probably doing that too so maybe this is not uh far from from what he would want people to do so you got I hope this was useful and uh, you get to enjoy this beautiful piece written by this great artist of the flamenco guitar.